folks driving along here on the 24th parts of Michigan farm fields as you can see thousands of acres and thousands of acres of trees and woods we are now entering the small village of Leonidas I'm gonna take a look at an old stone schoolhouse all right then and go back to school here in a minute. You can see Fieldstone has uh, permeated this area. Also the home right over here. Fieldstone as well. Very nice. Doing something with the church here in the corner. Last I knew, several years ago, a person had bought that. Some 18, I think, it's 35. It is 1835, the old church. Next to it is the stone school. We're gonna go in here and take a little look. Very nice out here in front too, right? Yeah, probably never get too old looking at the real nice color changes here at the Leonidas School, Colon Community School District, established in 1937. But there's some stone work, quite possibly the same people that did uh, the wall around Nazareth College, I heard had something to do with this as well. Take a closer look here. A lot of different stones to be found out in these fields. You've seen the large fields we passed. That's where a lot of these stones come from. Very nice right here small ones set around that and of course in the background here the trees right it's really cool how they made this rectangular almost window and then placed a smaller one in the center they did that on both sides of the entry you see here along the playground this was used of course as, as a school it was a schoolhouse used for many decades you can see it still is used as a learning facility here My beautiful trees here in the background another nice little angle of the school of course right across the street nice old farmhouse little outbuilding here and of course the another stone home there in the corner Okay, we'll say goodbye to the old stone school here in Leonidas for this year. Take a little further cruise around the village, see what we can see. A little more video there of the stone home here on the corner. Never know what you're going to find in these little villages like this. Like, here we have a haunted house. Pretty cool, huh? Almost looks, uh, almost looks real, huh? I bet you downtown here, well, down here in the four corners, I see a 1906 building straight ahead there. 1906. And, boy, that's an old, old building right there, too. That's it. We've, we've passed through Leonidas. So, I think we will head back in towards Menden, take a look at a couple of parks there along the way. See you in a minute. Some more stonework over here. I just can't get rid of that stuff out of those fields, can they? Well, I can't. All right, I'll be right back. This is kind of why you like to take these side streets in these little uh, these little villages. The 
find things like this it is posted and that's fine you can see it from here beautiful ghost sign this old feed mill right here on the on the edge of town it's wolf grain and feed right there very cool sumac there All right then be right back and it's funny because we come along here and find ourselves another stone home right here near the feed store very interesting huh all right of course you never know when you're gonna need an old Ford an old Ford tractor next to a 150 pickup truck how do you like that what's out there kitties kitties over here catching something in the grass all right here's an old place field stone foundation on that yep. I want to show you this place over here across the street that has a little field stone on it too look how the windows are all boarded up and the whole thing got sets of car tires piled out in front of the front door next to the front door in the front kind of interesting looking isn't it sorry about that bad conditions we'll be right back plenty of fields to glean those rocks out of I'll tell you that it can be done it takes a lot of work you can clean up a field you gotta really want to do it you gotta have the need you know, too many rocks in a field has busted more than one farmer down break those plow shears bust those plow shackles everything else horses stepping in uh, woodchuck holes and breaking their legs yep it was really tough back in the day really tough it's come a long ways but farming still isn't easy that's for sure just crossing the Nottawa Creek. Talk about farming. Ranching isn't easy either. It's a double bottom grain hauler that just passed by. Heading east on 60. We're heading west on 60. Here's the interchange M6660. Goes south towards Sturgis. We're going to head this way towards the west. Nice old barn coming up here. Might have a date on it. Many of them do. Have the farm's name and the date. That did not have the date. Go west, young man, go west. I believe that's a quote from Horace Greeley. Boy, did that kill a lot of young men and women, too. Okay, I think we're entering the village of Menden. The Menden Hornets. I remember them well during football. Ooh, this is really creepy, huh? Look at there. Wow, they're participating. A couple little farmhouses as we cruise along here through the main strassa. Uh, right down through the main old streets here in Menden. Building there in 1916. See what this one says. Township Hall, the old one. Down 
down here is I was looking for right here on the left boy is that a cool old building yeah here's the library on the right we looked at that earlier and then we'll be cruising right out of town right up here past what I think is the old hotel rivers off here to our left I believe this was the old hotel right there sure do look like one I'd pull up and tie up at that hitching post probably be expensive probably be two dollars a night holy smoke that's that's high be right back very cool old farm right there I remember seeing a pretty good size old cemetery up here a ways we might stop and take a peek I believe it's coming up right here on the left oh this is a beautiful place it has both new and old uh, working leaf blowers it's one of the newer ones tongue-in-cheek beautiful cemetery and as I started it has new and older graves I didn't see any zinkies it's pretty wide open here uh, there is a receiving vault up in the front we'll take a look at and there is one Mausoleum Schaefer And down here to the side We have Father John 1845 died in 1916 and mother Emma J 1853 She passed in 1937 Beautiful mausoleum I think we can see inside. Let's see here. There we go. There they are. The left and the right. Somebody has placed fresh flowers in here and it is very, very clean. There's a little broom and, st and things in here and there's also some uh, a box to leave messages and notes of course right up here you see a small vent it's made of, of uh, brass you can see it patina behind it is the moon still there in the sky of course that's to add a little ventilation a small amount that it would take it wouldn't take much there's the uh, stained glass window. A couple other vents. A lot of room back here. A Clyde Disbro. Seaman Apprentice, U.S. Navy. I think that's SA, Seaman Apprentice. World War II, 1928. Passed in 1979. I'm going to fix him up here a little bit. All right, our baby, Clyde Disbro, July 7th to July 12th of 56. Oh, oh yes, young child, a baby. Yep, no baby. All right, let's take a look up here at this receiving vault and then hit the trail. Here are the Vedmores, Luis B, 1939 to 2008, Ronald M. 1942 to 2009 and Eric Ronald Vedmore 1967 1968 another baby their baby and here's something that you don't see very often maybe in some parts of the country but not around here this is a uh, this is a metal urn a potting uh, type urn for putting plants in and so forth and see down here it's uh, from Dayton, Ohio that's where it was made I don't know how long ago this has been touched up but I know that you can tell it's been painted but here's a little petcock 
a little drain that you could open and let water flow out of here in the summertime keeping this all nice drained out you have some hens and chickens growing there very interesting okay here's the receiving vault um this is where they would keep the bodies during the winter because the ground could not be broke frost line here down a couple of feet really hard to, to dig a grave in the winter time and so like in kalamazoo and some of the other places that i've shown you they have receiving vaults and of course in the springtime when the grave diggers were able to get out and open up the graves then they would have the the burials um, I don't know if the funeral would take place at that time or if they'd have one in, a, in the home the person's home or at the funeral home and then later when the grave was able to be opened come out and take care of that I've never talked to anybody that had used a receiving vault my grandparents were certainly old enough to uh, to have uh, um, back in their parents used one, that's for sure. My great-grandparents passed away in the 1800s. You can bet. Here's the older part of the cemetery going way back in there. I have time constraints right now today where I take a little walk in there do some more history on who may be laid to rest out in this cemetery and we'll come back in the springtime when I go down to Colon, Michigan and look at the cemetery down there the home of the Magi more uh, spiritualists and magicians are buried in that cemetery than anywhere else in the known world yes sir all right and lastly here we have a nice little commemorative saddle to the own unknown dead as well as honoring the men and women of the Menden community who served their country in all of the branches all right take care Menden Cemetery we'll see you all in the next video have a good one thanks for watching